All right, um, it's me again. I just want to do uh, solutions for the last uh, quiz that we did. Um, and one thing that you should have realized is that in this test, they talk more of perpendicular lines than parallel lines. And I think uh, it will be important for me to stress that just before we start that M1 times M2 is equal to negative one. That's for perpendicular lines. This is for perpendicular lines. The two lines, if two lines are meeting at 90 degrees, that means their gradients, the product of their gradients should be negative one. So let's just look at this. It says a line has a gradient of five and then N at two points. That is um, M and that is N and the gradient is five. So how would you express this? You know that the gradient is five, right? And 23 minus eight is 15, and uh, k minus x, k minus x. So the question says, find the expression of x in terms of k. It's the same as saying expre ex express x in terms of k. So find x. That means make x the subject of the formula in terms of k in this sense because k would still remain a variable. All right, so in that case, we cross multiply 5k minus 5x, 15, and um, you can remain with 15 minus 5k negative 5, This is your answer. So now you've expressed k x in terms of k, or you can write it as x is equal to uh, k minus three. All right, let's go to question two. Question two says, find the equation of line L. Here, you can see that between one just halfway between one and two, so that means it's one, uh, 1 1.5, so x here is 1.5. x is 1.5, and your y is three, right? And how do you find gradient? Gradient is the change in y divided by the change in x, but then this gradient is negative, so you know that it's going to be negative. So your m, change in y, is three, and the gradient is negative, 1.5, negative 2. And some of you would have said, okay, rise over run. So rise over run, you're rising three units up, positive three, and you're running 1.5 unit, 1.5 unit to the left, right? And three divided by 1.5 will give you negative two. So that is my gradient. And on this one, it says a line perpendicular to line L. So it's perpendicular to line L, passes through the point. These are the points that it passes through. Then find the equation of that line. Now, this is where you need to apply. You know that my first gradient, I'm looking at that. My first gradient here is negative two times what? What should be the gradient of the next line so that when you multiply both of them, you get negative one. So here, you see that it will be um, one half. So therefore, I have, I want now to substitute this into the equation. Uh, so we have y is equal to mx plus c. What is the value of y? Negative one. The value of m, one over two. And x, I have to find c, that's why I'm doing this, I'm finding the value of c. And then x is three uh, plus c, and that will be uh, three over two, which is 1.5, and then that will be negative one minus 1.5, 1.5 is equal to c, sorry, is equal to c, so that will be uh, minus 2.5 is C, minus 2.5 is C, 
So therefore, uh, the equation is y is equal to x minus 2.5 or 5 over 2. So that's the equation of that line. You see the gradient, you have to multiply the gradient of this, multiply by that gradient, you get negative 1 and it passes through negative 2.5. And it makes sense because the gradient would be, it would pass through going down. Um, all right, cool. Let's go to question three. Question three says A is the point negative 2 and so I would write the negative 2 and 0 minus 2 and 0, sorry. And then 0 and, and 4. So that's what I have. Find the equation of the line passing through A and B. The equation of the line. So first of all, I need to find what my M is. It's a positive gradient. A change in Y divided by the change in X. What's the change in Y? It's 4. And the change in X? It's 2. The change is the difference um, between that point and X. That is 2. So my gradient there is 2. Find the equation of the line. So now Y is equal to MX plus C and my gradient there is 2 and my C here, don't forget, your C here is 4. C is where the line passes the or crosses the Y axis. So here, that would be Y is equal to 2 X plus 4. That's my equation. And now, look at the equation, uh, the question that follows. It says find the equation of the perpendicular line. No, not perpendicular line, perpendicular bisector. So, bisector, it means cuts into two equal parts. That is to bisect. So, if I'm going to bisect, I would need the midpoint. So, what would be the midpoint of AB? So, I'll start with that. Um, so, the midpoint... Midpoint of... Midpoint of AB, so it's zero plus divided by two and four plus zero divided by two. So here that should be negative one and two. So that is the midpoint. But then it says perpendicular. So what does that mean? It means that the gradient that we have, which is two, what are you going to multiply that gradient with in order for you to get negative one? So what will be there? That will be minus one over two. So that's the gradient of uh, the line they're asking, which is going to pass through this point. So now you have the point and gradient. You substitute y is equal to m x plus c. What is your y? Your y is 2. It's 2 minus an x negative 1 um, plus c. Then what will be? That will be 1 over 2. 2. 1 over 2 plus c. And when you take it, the side 2 minus half is 1.5. 1 1.5. 1 Sorry. 1.5 is equal to C. So therefore, your equation would be Y is equal to, what is my gradient? My gradient is um, X plus 1.5 positive. 